Good day everyone, this is Teacher Judea. For today, we will discuss about determining the word of ideas to make simple inferences. The student in the illustration is considering five different options. What did he pick out of the five options? What do you think he will do with those things? Comment down your answer. He selected a laptop, internet, and cell phone as the most important items because he may use all three to attend his online classes. Although the modules are required, they can also be found on his laptop. Similarly, popcorn is a great snack to have, but it is not required in this situation. In some way, when we read, we keep only the important things, making sense of the text and getting toward understanding the words determining important concepts and information in it. An author can provide a lot of information, but as a reader, you must decide on which knowledge is the most important for learning. However, this could be a challenge in listening, where possible distractions may occur such as when the speaker speaks softly or quickly. To eliminate this distraction, we must first learn how to connect to the speaker. In this lesson, you will know more about determining the word of ideas mentioned in a listening text using the TAST method, which stands for Context, Audience, Speaker, Tone or Mood, and Summary. It will guide you in making inferences about the thoughts and feelings expressed in the text you listen to. Context is the location and time the speech held. Audience is the people who listen to your speech. Speaker, person giving the message or speech. Tone or mood is the attitude or feelings expressed by the speaker. And summaries the main points of the speech. Inferences are guesses you make by combining two things. Details or information from the text and your prior knowledge or personal experiences. These inferences are helpful for you to arrive with the summary of the speaker's message. While listening, you will process the information delivered by the speaker to formulate your inferences. You will also reflect on the message for you to understand the context and impact of the speech. You might be thinking of the following questions. What is the purpose of the speaker in delivering the speech? How did the message change me after I have listened to it? Is the message new to me? How can I share this knowledge to other people? To understand the CAST method, I have here the table and presents the guide questions and steps in making inferences. Let's have the first one, context. Guide questions. Where did the speech take place? When did the speaker deliver the speech? How do other participants react to the speech? So how to come up with your inferences? Describe the speech based on your prior knowledge. Explain the significance of the location and time where the speech was held. Example, the speech was held in the school at 8 in the morning as part of the opening program. Next is the audience. Guide questions. Who is the intended audience? What age, range, or group do they belong? Do they have similarities? Are they coming from a group or organization? Steps. Describe the audience participation in the speech. Explain why they are intended audience based on the text you have listened to. Example. Students from Buenaventura Alandi National High School, BANHS, will be in the audience for the dance competition. Next is 
the speaker. Guide question. What position does he or she have in a group or organization? How important is his or her presence in giving the speech? Step. Describe the background information you know about the speaker. Example. The speaker is the principal of the ANHS who is very supportive of such events. Next is the tone or mood. What words did the speaker use that made you feel the emotion portrayed in the speech? Is the speaker fearful, angry, surprised, serious, or humorous? Steps Write the words that you make feel about the speech. Describe your emotions that you felt after listening to the text. Example The speaker is excited since she announced that the contest winners will receive prizes. The last one is Summary What salient or important points did the speaker mention in his or her speech? What is the central message that the speaker wants to convey? Step List down all your thoughts, insights, and opinions about the points that the speaker has mentioned. Example The speaker delivered a message regarding the Division's upcoming dance contest. Students from BA and HS will compete, and I believed that they will win the competition like they did last year as she mentioned. You have developed your ability to cite text evidence in the previous quarter, and now you are working on another important skill, making simple inferences. You may not realize it, but you have been employing this skill in your daily activities. All you have to do now is put it into practice while reading or listening. When inferring from the text, integrate your prior knowledge or your personal experiences with the evidence provided by that text. Now, let's try. Listen to an excerpt of President Rodrigo Duterte's Sonos 2020 and fill out the graphic organizers below. Until the COVID-19 vaccine is available, I will not allow the traditional face-to-face -face teaching or learning unless the risk of exposure to the sickness and are eliminated. I cannot and will not put to rest the health and lives of our students and teachers. Yung, about two weeks ago, I, I, I I seem to have said that uh, uh, I would allow the face-to-face -face, uh, classes to resume. But we were talking actually of January. Because my thinking is that uh, by September, we would have the vaccine. How to get it from the producers or from other governments is really something which uh, we have to deal with because everyone, the, 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 it's, it's a global need and everyone will go for it. Okay now, let's try to identify and make inferences using the past method. What is the context or location or time of the speech it is the speech was held at Batasang Pambansa last July 2020 who is the intended audience the speech is for all Filipinos who is the speaker the speaker is our president Rodrigo Duterte and talks about the Sony 2020 tone and mood the speaker is serious as he announced new face-to-face -face classes summary 
The speaker delivered a message regarding new face-to-face -face classes until COVID-19 vaccine is available. Remember, the importance of applying cast method to determine the worth of ideas and listening text was emphasized in this lesson. We can utilize the method to make simple inferences from the details provided in the text, which is especially useful when summarizing the speaker's message. The formula here for you to remember how to make inferences is details or evidence from the text plus the prior Knowledge or personal experience is equals to inference. Thank you so much everyone. I hope you learned something for today. This is Teacher Judea.